Hello everyone, it's me, Mrs. Gronert, and today I'm going to tell you the story of Rabbit and his sandal. If you remember the last Rabbit story, Rabbit and his cap of antlers, you'll know that Rabbit used to have a beautiful crown of antlers that he wore on his head, but he tricked many of the animals in the rainforest, and the king was angry with what Rabbit did. So he changed Rabbit to have long ears. Now that Rabbit has long ears, he can hear very well. But the king was not the only one that was angry with Rabbit for what he did to the other animals in the rainforest. Oh no. All of the animals who lived in the rainforest were angry with Rabbit because he had taken the skins of their family members. So the animals got together, the crocodiles, the capybaras, the snakes, the monkeys, they got all together and they said, we have to do something about this terrible rabbit. He killed our family. We have to go and get him. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. We need to get him. We will get him and we will tear him to pieces. <laughs> That's what we will do. We will tear him to pieces. Yes, yes, we will tear him into little pieces. <laughs> Rabbit won't be there anymore. There will just be little pieces of fuzzy fur all over the ground. <laughs> yes, that is what we'll do. We need to go right now and get him. Well, as the animals were planning to go and get the rabbit and tear him into tons of little tiny pieces so all that was left of him were little balls of fur on the ground, Rabbit was in his house. But if you remember, the king had given Rabbit long ears so that he could hear things from far away. Rabbit was in his house and he heard the animals planning to come and tear him apart. So Rabbit thought of a really good plan to escape from the animals when they came to his house. This is how Rabbit escaped. The animals who were very angry came to Rabbit's house. Rabbit! Rabbit, come out! Come out right now, we're going to tear you to pieces because you hurt our families. Come on, come out of your house. Well, Rabbit from inside of his house said, Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, friends, no, no, no. Uh, I cannot come out right now because uh, I'm, uh, I'm cleaning my house. Yeah. Yeah, I'm cleaning my house. It's really dirty in here, and I have a lot of yucky things in my house. So you need to just let me finish cleaning, and then I'll come out and see you guys, okay? Okay, that's what I'm going to do. I'll come out and see you right after I finish cleaning. Well, the animals weren't quite sure about this story, but they talked among themselves. Hey, what do you think? Well, well ooh, 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 Rabbit is ooh, 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 clean in his house. What can that hurt? He can clean. Yeah, I guess so. We'll let him clean. Okay, Rabbit, but we're only giving you five minutes. Um, okay, okay, well, just let me clean. Now, Rabbit was making a lot of noise as he cleaned his house. Bunk, boom, bam, bing, bonk, 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 moving things all around in his house. And then he decided to start out with his plan. He said, okay, guys, um, now I'm going to be throwing something out the window, okay? But you don't want to touch it. What are you throwing out the window, huh, rabbit? Huh? What is it? What are you going to throw? Um, I'm going to throw my old sandal out the window. Um, 
I'm throwing it out because it's really, really, really stinky. Yeah, it's so stinky and smelly. It's terrible. You don't want to even touch it. You don't want to have anything to do with the stinky, stinky sandal. So when I throw it, you're going to want to get away because it smells really bad. Yeah, because uh, I stepped in something kind of disgusting with my sandal and now it smells really, really bad. So, so just wait there. I'll be throwing it, okay? All right. Hey, what do you think about this? Well, 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 I don't want to touch the nasty sandal. I think rabbit has stinky feet. I, 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 don't, I don't want to touch that. No, I don't either. Well, rabbit took his sandal and threw it right out the window. Oh my goodness. Well, that sandal came flying across over the tops of the heads of all the other animals. And they were all screaming and yelling because they thought it really smelled bad. No, look, there's the sandal. Get it away from us. Get it away. I don't want to touch it. No, you don't touch it. It stinks really bad, really, really bad. So the animals let the sandal fly over their heads and into the rainforest. But they did not know that what came flying out of the house was not a sandal at all. No, it was Rabbit. He tricked all of them. He put himself into a teeny tiny little ball and jumped as high as he could and flew right over the tops of their heads into the rainforest. Now, Rabbit decided he would sit and watch to see what happened next. The animals were starting to get impatient with Rabbit because he was not opening the door. So they went up to the door and started knocking. Hey, Rabbit! Rabbit! Come out, come on, you've got to be done cleaning by now. Your house can't be that bad. No, come on out, we're going to tear you to pieces because of what you did to our families. Get out of there, get out right now. But as the animals were yelling for Rabbit to come out, they heard nothing at all coming from inside of Rabbit's house. Hey, I don't think he's in there. I don't, I don't think he's in there either. I don't hear anything. Let, let's, let's break the window. Let's find out if he's there, come on. Well, the animals broke the window and then they peeked inside, but Rabbit was not there. They started to become very angry with each other and started fighting among themselves. The crocodile said, hey, monkey, this is all your fault. You're the one who said we needed to wait for that sandal. Was that really a sandal? I don't think so. I think that was Rabbit. You let him get away. It's all your fault. No, it's not my fault. It's your fault, crocodile. You said don't touch that stinky sandal. No, it's your fault. Well, the monkey and the crocodile and the capybaras and the snakes, they all started fighting in a big giant brawl. And Rabbit, well, <laughs> he was so happy hiding behind a tree in the rainforest. <laughs> Look at that. I tricked all of them. That's because I am the smartest animal in the entire rainforest. <laughs> <laughs> and they thought it was the stinky sandal that jumped out the window. But it wasn't. It was me. It was me. I tricked the ball. <laughs> and now they'll never 
ever find me because I am too smart for all of them. <laughs> well, that is exactly how Rabbit escaped the wrath of the animals of the rainforest. I hope you enjoyed the story today, and I hope to see you again very soon.